Let's talk about stock kits first. In previous versions, companies that utilized the stock kits were not able to properly plan the stock components needed to assemble kits with MRP or DRP. The reason is because the regeneration process did not blow down demand through the kit specification for its stock components when a supply recommendation was made for the stock kit. So, when a stock kit was on a sales order and there wasn't enough quantity on hand of that kit, the user was not alerted to the additional demand placed on the stock components needed to assemble that kit. This forced users to have to remember to create a kit assembly at the same time that a sales order was entered. Also, the kit assembly didn't have a requested on date. So even when the kit assembly was created, MRP or DRP thought you needed the components immediately. To illustrate this, let's take an example. Let's say a travel goods manufacturer sells a travel gift set to wholesalers. This is a stock kit which is made up of a duffel bag, a backpack, and a toiletry bag. The manufacturer adds the gift set to a sales order, which will drop the gift set quantity below the safety stock threshold. The manufacturer did not see demand for the duffel bag, the backpack, or the toiletry bag needed to restock the gift set after regenerating inventory planning prior to 2024 R1. As a workaround, the manufacturer created the kit assembly document, but didn't need to order the components for another three months. But inventory planning showed that the item was needed today because the kit assembly item plans did not have a requested on date. In 2024 R1, we've enhanced the regenerate inventory planning process to blow demand through stock kits. On stock items, we've added a new source option called Kit Assembly. Now, users will specify which items should be planned as a kit by specifying Kit Assembly as the source. This tells MRP or DRP to blow demand down through the kit specification when a planning suggestion is made to assemble more kits. We've also added a new assemble action to inventory planning display, so users can now take action directly from the screen when an item restocked through kit assembly is displayed on the screen. And finally, we've added a requested on date field to the kit assembly form, which is used for all the item plans stemming from this document. Let's see what this looks like. On the stock item screen, users can now select a source of kit assembly on the inventory planning tab. This tells the regenerate inventory planning process to blow down demand when suggesting a kit assembly to be created. This defaults to the item warehouse. The inventory planning regeneration process has been enhanced to now blow demand down through a stock items kit specification when the item has a source of kit assembly and there is at least one active kit specification revision. On the inventory planning preferences, we also introduced a new include on hold kit assemblies checkbox. When this is selected, kit assemblies with the status of hold are included in Regenerate Inventory Planning. When cleared, kit assemblies with a status of hold are listed as exceptions on Inventory Planning Exceptions. My customer, Asahi Sun Tours, has placed an order for 25 travel kits. They would like these delivered by May the 1st. When I generated Inventory Planning, you can see that I have a suggestion to go ahead and assemble the kit. This kit assembly will require use of the duffel bag, the backpack, and the toiletry bag. And I don't have enough quantity on hand, so I'm getting a suggestion to go ahead and purchase these items at the same time. Notice in my type column, 
I can see that the purchase components demand is coming from the planned kit assembly and my travel kits demand is coming from my sales order. In the related document column, my purchase suggestion is related to a planning generated kit assembly. I can also see the revision of the kit that planning used to determine which components I should buy. Let's go ahead and create our kit assembly. Now, when I go over to the kit assembly form, we see that a new assembly record has been created. Notice that the requested on date is 5-1. If I decided to go ahead and assemble today, Notice that the requested on date doesn't change, but if the customer requests it earlier, it immediately changes the kit assembly date. 